stay tuned until the end of this video to find out how you can win some great prizes. And welcome to a Christmas special of Cooking with Craig. Today we are getting ready for Christmas. That's why I've got my Christmas t-shirt on. And I have a nice piece of pork here. So everybody at Christmas time likes a little bit of the nice meats and all those kind of things. So today I'm going to show you how to cook the best piece of pork and get that crackling perfect. Not forgetting the sides either. So let's get into this. Got my pork here. It's been resting on my board for about an hour now to bring it up to room temperature. You don't want to be putting this in the oven while it's still cold and refrigerated. Okay. First, let's get this thing dry. So I've got my paper towel. So we dry off the top of our piece of pork. Making sure we're getting all of that moisture out of all of those little slits that our butcher has made for us. All right. Especially on the skin at the top because we want to make sure that that is the driest so that our pork will crackle and we'll get that crunch when we want to bite into that crackling later. All right, there we go. I think that's almost done. Place it on your oven tray in the middle. The next part is we're going to salt this. So make sure you've got your salt pig nearby. I've got mine here on the bench. And we're gonna rub the top of this, well actually sprinkle the top of this with our salt. Now don't worry about, oh, I don't use too much salt, I can't have that much salt. Don't worry, the salt that we're going to put onto the top of this, we're going to scrape off later. So, it's absolutely fine to use a lot of salt. All over the top. This will help pull out all of the, all of the rest of the moisture in the skin and help it go crunchy and perfect. Now, I've already preheated my oven to 240 degrees Celsius. Now we're gonna whack this in for 30 minutes just to make sure that that gets a nice hot outside seared into it. All right, after 30 minutes, we're gonna turn it down to 210 degrees Celsius with a fan forced oven and we're gonna cook it for about another hour. All right, let's come back when I'm ready to start getting all the sides that we're gonna to cook today to go with this lovely piece of pork. All right, so now we've got our pork cooking away in the oven. Next, we need to get our vegetables ready that we're gonna par cook in our pressure cooker and the other ones that we're just gonna put straight into the oven with about 40 minutes left on the cook. And then we swap in the other pressure cooked vegetables with the last 20 to 30 minutes of left of the cook. All right, let's get on. Time lapsed, me peeling and cutting all these vegetables. All right, so I've separated up my potatoes and the larger pieces of my carrots that I want to put in my pressure cooker. So in they go with about a litre of water and I'm going to cook these for 15 minutes under pressure. So come back when we're ready to go to the next stage. All right, this is just finished. So I'm now going to uh, release the pressure and uh, open it up. Now that's done, take off the lid, get covered in steam and with a, uh, a ladle with holes, gently pull out the potato and put it on to your uh, oven tray, ready for baking. All right, I'm gonna get all these out. All right, they're now all done. I'm just gonna put the carrots into here and I'll whack these into the oven with 30 minutes remaining on my uh, cook so that these will crisp up nicely and finish cooking the rest. All right, be back in about 30 minutes with everything that I'll be pulling out. All right, so I'm taking the pork out and I'm going to put it on my tray over here and we're going to test the temperature and make sure it's come up to the right temperature. So turn this on, probe it in the middle. All right, so I've now taken the pork out. It's now come up over 
140 degree, 45 degrees Fahrenheit, which is over 165 degrees Celsius. The moment it's sitting at 87 degrees Celsius, which is 189 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, I'm gonna let this uh, rest for at least 20 minutes before I'm gonna cut into it. Now, hear that sound? That's telling me that pork crackling is absolutely perfect. All right, while we're waiting for that to rest, the rest of our vegetables in the oven, they should be finished in about 10 minutes, and our other vegetables I'm about to get ready and put on this stove. All right, come back very shortly. All right, so veggies are almost done on top. The veggies that I've had in the oven are about to come out. We'll have a look at them. I'll strain off the fat into this jar so I can make our gravy as well. All right, let's get onto those vegetables. All right, first let's see if we can drain off some of this fat. Dish up some carrots. Now I have what looks to be half a cup of drippings. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up the other half of the other cup of the cup to bring this up to a full cup of, uh, of liquids with hot water. Okay, now I don't want to have too heavy of a gravy with this meal, so I've decided to opt in for the chicken gravy. The chicken gravy is a little bit lighter than your, uh, than your beef gravy, which probably will go better with this pork we're doing today. So, three to one, all right, two, three. I'm gonna quickly put this through the barbex and whack this in the microwave. Now, I'm all about making things easy. And easier ways of making gravy is sometimes using the gravy stock powders that you can get at your supermarket. Other than getting up, making a roux in your sauce, in, in your pan, and getting the pan. I'm using the pan drippings, but I'm using it in conjunction with a traditional, easy, on the, on the shelf gravy. All right, I'm gonna whiz this and whack it into the microwave to cook. Now, next, are my potatoes. Now these potatoes were par cooked in the pressure cooker. So inside each one of these is nice and soft. But on the outside, it started to go golden brown. Okay, so we'll dish a few of those up onto each one of the plates too. Not forgetting some of this sweet potato. Always love a bit of sweet potato. All right, gravy is complete. Next step, let's get this crackling off before it goes too soft. Now I've had this sitting here underneath some foil while it's been resting. Now I have this still 84 degrees Celsius and 183 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so it's still nice and warm inside. Let's get this clipped. All right, next step, grab yourself a little knife, go up the side and we want to try and get that fat off the meat Okay, there's the crackling, the crackling's now off. Now that is a nice piece of meat. Let that rest there a little bit longer while we get the last part of our veggies off. All right, now we've got all our veggies dished up. We just need to add that little bit of the beautiful pork that we've just finished cooking. I've got my knife and my fork. Let's cut this up. This last piece that goes on. Nice piece of crackling. One of the easy ways of making a nice Christmas feast for your dinner on Christmas day or around the festive season. If you've seen anything you like in these videos, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget any comments, questions, or things you want me to try and cook. Leave it in the comments field below on YouTube. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and get notified when I do these. Cooking with Craig segments, my daily vlogs, urban explore, cart maintenance, what's in the box, check out basket, you name it, I film it, it ends up on YouTube. So hit that subscribe button. And until next time, have a very Merry Christmas.
Awesome! You've stuck around to the end of the video to find out the secret code word for today's video. Today's code word is Christmas Eve. That's right, Christmas Eve. This one will actually be drawn on Christmas Eve at 12 noon, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Now, the winning person will win this awesome YouTube beanie. Now, here in Australia, it's a little bit hot, so you might want to wait until winter. Some parts of the world, it's probably snowing. So make sure you get that code word in the comments field below and I'll post you this awesome YouTube beanie. That's right, you gotta be in it to win it and have a Merry Christmas.